What's good, family? It's your boy, and we're back with another video, family. Yes, today we're going to be uh, diving into the house of Amwaj, and they have a new fragrance out, a new banger. It's a good one, family. Well, let me tell you, put it like this. It's a good one if you are a lover of tobacco. If you love tobacco, this is the one for you. Now, I only have a sample because I wanted to sample before I pull the trigger, all right? I sampled it, and it's a very unique scent. But first, family, we, we, we're going to do this. We're gonna get, I'm going to give you the information, and we're going to be out. We're not going to be here all day. Um, first, I'd like to ask you, family, please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you think about the fragrance. Tell me what you think about the video, the video, how I'm giving the presentation, all that, family. If I need to critique some things, let your boy know. Applause go out to you, and I thank you for the uh, support that you are giving me. Okay, let's move on. Now, the fragrance that we're talking about is from the House of Amwage, and it's Royal Tobacco. Like I said, if you are a lover of tobacco, you will definitely, definitely, definitely fall in love with this. Um, came out this year. It's brand new, brand new. The creator of this is uh, Miss Cecile Zarokian. Zarokian. But you have created a beautiful scent, and I thank you for it. Um, it's going to run you about the mid to high threes. Um, it's it's aromatic in the opening. It's a it's heavy uh, tobacco. Uh, he, um, it's a heavy tobacco with a little bit of basil and bergamot that um, that that it's blended well together. But it, it, it's almost like it's real ashy. To my nose, when I smelled, it, it was like I'm sniffing an ashtray, but not in a bad way. Not like you know. Uh, grandma or granddad's ashtray with a thousand cigarettes in there. No, it's like um, almost like a, a, a cigar. A, a, a cigar that's been sitting in the ashtray for a while that's not bad but it has a nice aroma to it. A nice sophisticated mature aroma to it. That's what, that, that's what I get when I smell uh, royal tobacco. I guess that's why it's called royal tobacco because it, it smells like royalty. It really does. It's a really, really nice scent. It uh, it dries down. That that oh, that's the, the opening is nice because you get you get a burst of tobacco in the opening, but on the dry down, oh man, it dries down to like a nice, a uh, warm vanilla, uh, rose lavender. I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful. Now I sprayed this on earlier, uh, probably maybe like four hours ago, and it is still with me. Longevity, all day, all day, family. Longevity is a monster on this because now I say when you say tobacco, and I told you it got some vanilla in there, but it's nothing in the realm of Tom's Ford tobacco vanilla. That's on the sweet side. This one isn't on the sweet side, but it's still a nice, smooth scent. It's not even on the in the realm of uh, PDM's Herod. It's not in that realm. Nowhere near. This is in the realm all by itself. This has a tobacco scent that uh, I, no other house has created. This is a true, true, true tobacco scent. It, um, uh, it has a, a spice with with the licorice. Uh, the the licorice in here is really what gives it its 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 kick to me, and it's really really nice. This. Royal tobacco. It's a, it's a well done scent. Um, and the notes in here, it almost puts you, if you look up the notes, it almost puts you in the mind of a uh, Rosia Dove's uh, complex uh, formation of things that he put together. Cause it is a lot, but it's a beautiful scent. It's a really, really beautiful scent. Um, it's aromatic. It's uh, amber. Um, uh, Got agarwood in it, got some oud, um, some tonka bean, musk, and uh, some vetiver, uh, and the vanilla. The vanilla, the the lavender, and the rose. That's in the in the dry down. You got the tobacco, 
lavender rose, a little bit of oud, a um, little bit of citrus, a little bit, but it's the tobacco is the main note that you get. Tobacco, to my nose, it was tobacco the uh, and the vanilla, but not like Tom Ford and not like Harry. This one is uh, like the most mature one. Okay, if you will put them in order, you will put, as far as maturity, you will put Amwages, Royal Tobacco, Herod, and then Tom Ford. It, you got three levels, whichever one suits you. If you don't like a heavy tobacco scent, go with Tom Ford. If you like a somewhat in the middle, but not on the uh, sweet side, go with Herod. But if you like a mature uh, tobacco scent, that's not, it's not pungent. It's not over tobacco. It's not a, in the opening, yeah, in the opening, you get all ashtray. You do. But the dry down, the dry down family, you will love it. I guarantee you will love it. It's a nice scent. Longevity all day. It's going to run you about 350, 360, something like that. Uh, came out this year. It's only been out maybe since September or August or something like that, I believe. But I had just got a sample of it. And I think I might have to pull the trigger on this one because, you know, like I say, do not put this on paper. Please, if you... Try it, put it on skin. Put it on skin, wear it for a while because the opening, you might not be attracted to it and it might not be appealing to your nose. Give it some time to dry down. Let the magic form. And when the magic form, oh my goodness, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful creation. Give it the nine months so it can birth. Give it the nine months, so not literally wearing it for nine months. Give it its time, spray it. Give it like an hour or so, let it dry down, let everything formulate and come together and watch your nose do a dance around that scent that you will absolutely adore. It's a beautiful scent. It says unisex in the opening, no. On the dry down, maybe, 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 maybe. But to my nose, I think it's all man. This is a very masculine, beautiful scent. It really is, it's a beautiful, beautiful scent. Like I say, it dries down to a nice warm vanilla uh, with the rose and the lavender. Beautiful. The tobacco stays with it throughout. From the opening to the closing, you get the ashy type scents, but not in a bad way. Because the licorice, the rose, the lavender, vanilla, all that blends it out and adds the sweetness to it and the maturity to it. And that, that thing, oh, it's, it's a nice scent. The dry down is really, really special. So... That's my take on Amwaj's uh, Royal Tobacco from the Opus Collection. I think you will like it, family. Take a sniff of it. Take two sniffs. Put it on skin, not on paper. All right, family. We out of here. Just want to talk about that. Deuces.